Welcome Luminaires! We have a ton of cool new features and enhancements in Update 1.7, and we're happy to go over some of the major changes. So let's get started. To kick off, we'll start with hotkeys. We've added a new way to activate or deactivate your hotkey so you don't have to delete them when you don't want to use them. Also in this update, we've added a way to include number pad keys as an assignment option now. Make sure that numlock key is on though or else that key will refer to a different key. Animations have received a major update. Now, wherever you previously had the ability to use reactions, you can now use animations. That includes alerts, variations, chat, shortcuts, and hotkeys. But that's not all. It also has a few more places that we're able to use it, like default lights, where it will run forever until an alert comes in or a chat command comes in, or idle mode. We've also made animations a lot more customizable by allowing you to choose your duration and transition inside each slot. We've also given the user the ability to add up to 100 slots for an animation, so you can add as many as your heart desires. Next up, as you may have seen in the animations, instead of the slider for durations, we now have the number pad input, where you can enter whatever milliseconds you want. So say if you want your chat command to run for 24 hours, you'll enter 86,400,000 milliseconds. We've also added an option for Lumia Stream to start on boot. So if you head to Settings General, under Application, you'll see Start Lumia Stream on Login. You can set that on or off. Don't worry though, it's disabled by default. Yes, it's finally here. You can now import your Hue scenes from the Hue app and add them to Lumia Stream. We've listened to our legacy users who missed this option in the old apps. This is experimental, but it will at least get you closer to what you want. There was a bug previously where LumiStream wasn't registering the user follow tear for Twitch. This had something to do with the API change that happened recently with Twitch. You'll need to head to Settings, Connections, Sites, and re-authenticate with Twitch to get your tears registering correctly again. Now that animations have been added to the mix, we had to create a new way for Lumia to determine what happens when a new activity is coming in. Now, if you had the settings queue, the user will have the ability to choose if they want alerts to be queued and chat to be queued. For chat, when there's another chat activity currently running and chat queue is on, it will add it to the queue to be triggered after the current activity is finished. This only affects chat reactions, hypes, and animations. Colors, scenes, and interactives will always be overridden. For alerts, when there's another alert running and alert queue is on, it will add it to the queue to be triggered after the current activity is finished. If queue is off and a new alert comes in, it will stop the current alert and start playing the new one immediately. Alerts will always override any chat activity no matter what, and also will not allow any chat activities until the alert queue is finished. The only thing that will override an alert is a system activity, or an alert itself if queue is off. And there you have it, there's Lumia Stream 1.7. We're adding major features to Lumia in the coming months, so stay tuned.